All right, guys, it's X Mosquito back again. Um, yeah, I thought I'd do a replay of one of my old... Um, a replay? <laughs> audio commentary of one of my old replays. And this is going to be, as you can see in the description, uh, audio commentary and tips of my old replay of Soldier Blade on the hardest difficulty without dying. As you can see there, it's done on real hardware with a pad hacked... Um, it's an old PlayStation 3 stick that is, but I haven't got a PS3, so I just took the PCB out. And yeah, it's got those four Samware parts, and yes, yeah, pad hacked to a... I think that's a, core, that's a duo pad or a core graphics pad. But anyway, um, yeah, I said it was real hardware because on the replay now... It looks like it looks like it's captured from an uh, an emulator, but it's actually from a well, it was five pound USB capture card through composite off a uh, off eBay, and it doesn't cap. It's not very good actually. It only captures four ATI, and only records at thirty frames a second. Because now and again with a laser, if you can imagine, it's when you got a fully powered up laser, you got a laser going the left and a laser going right, and because it alternates every other frame. If it's an odd or even, if I press attack, if I press the fire button on an odd or even frame, it's going to be on that one side until I remove the button and press it again. So yeah, so just be aware of that. That now and again you might see some funky uh, video um, effects going on. But uh, yeah, I've gone back to filming the screen now, but you know just because I, know, I just prefer it. <laughs> All right, ready? I'm going to start in three seconds. So I can sync this up afterwards. One, two, three, go. Oh, ready? Well, let's start again. One, two, three, go. Has it worked? Yes, there you go. Yeah, there you go, into setup, high difficulty. Um, yeah, in my opinion, this is the best uh, soldier game on a PC engine. But not to say it's you know, miles better than the other ones, but I'd, I'd say it's the best game. Uh, it's, you know, it's, a, it's a good length. And the yeah, difficulty, I don't know, it's a bit easy on normal. It's quite easy, Soldier Blade. And it gives you too many lives in most uh, PC Engine exclusive games. They just throw too many lives at you, make it too easy. But on hard, it is, it is um, a good challenge. As you can see now, straight away, all the suicide bullets coming down there. On normal, there's none of that. It's just, they just they just throw their normal weapon, uh, normal, uh, their normal pattern. But on here, when they die, the majority of the time, they fire suicide bullets as well. Right, the weapons. Uh, yeah, as you said, that weapon there, that's the that's the red weapon. That's a fully powered up, that's the main weapon. In my opinion, that's the best weapon. So you see, um, when you press the secondary button, button one, you do a bomb, you do like a bomb version of whatever weapon you're using at the time. So you can see that in the bottom right hand corner. Um, yeah, what was that then? Yeah, that, that's, that's the bomb for the green weapon. Which, in my opinion, is the second best weapon in the game. With the red being the best, and then you've got the laser there. That's the that's the secondary weapon of the laser. Which, in my opinion, the laser is the worst weapon because the angle it looks it looks the strongest, but when you when you play it a lot, you will realise that the angle of that laser is a bit is a bit odd. You know, the the angles going to the side. And the the secondary weapon of it, you know, the bomb version of it, is really well. Basically, the, the laser does the, does hardly anything, and it doesn't last very long at all. I, I'd say the laser lasts like two seconds with a bomb. The green weapon, which is the second best weapon, I'd say, um, you get like a good three seconds. But the the red rep weapon, you get a good four seconds of invulnerability. When you use it, and, and if you point blank with a red weapon, it is super strong. Whereas with the the, um, the laser, I don't think it's very strong at all. But um, yeah, and basically, to get a fully powered up weapon, you got to get three of the same weapon in a row. So imagine if you got one red. I'm missing all this commentary here. I right? on the on the level. I'm just explaining the mechanics first. There's plenty of time. <laughs> Um, yeah, if you get, say you were to get one red, um, then one green, and then one blue, the blue would, would, would only be powered at once, even though you've got three, uh, three of the, you know, three power ups. So you can only power up if you get the same colour of what other, what, what, whatever weapon you've got at that time. 
Does that make sense? I don't know. <laughs> but if I had a fully powered up red weapon, say I had like three reds and I got a blue, the blue would be fully powered up. You know what I mean? It's, a, it's basically the opposite of, say, um, W ring. It's on that, you could get. Um, yeah, the, the, the power ups accumulate basically. Whereas on this, it's got to be the same. Uh, Alright, a good strategy on this game is, I'm not sure if you know, but a, a few of the soldier games, if, if you press uh, select, you can change the speed. And on Soldier Blade, that's a really good strategy, especially on hard, is to use your bomb when you're red, which has got the longest invincibility, and then just go on top of the enemy and just hold, because um, auto um, speed change has got is um, automatic, it's got you know, built in auto fire, just hold the button, hold the speed change, and it just changes. And that's a good strategy, it's just not so much on this boss now, because it's quite easy. But for the so they your enemies, which you need to take out fast on hard. It's it's bloody it's a major uh, it's a major strategy you need to use basically. Yeah, this boss isn't too bad. I'll explain more in the next level. And a good strategy is see if you look on the bottom right there now, right? The next weapon I use. If I use that weapon now, the next weapon is going to be another red that gets pushed down one. So if I were to see another red weapon come on the screen now, it would just it would just be like a smart bomb on the screen and just kill whatever's on the screen. Whereas if I before I collect the next weapon, if I use that weapon to use the the bomb version of that of that weapon, the special of that weapon, and then collect another weapon again. Uh, basically, you got like a free. I've uh, got a free bomb. Basically, see that that red one there. If I collect that, it'll kill everything on screen. Whereas if I use my bomb before it, then collect it, I've got a free, basically free five seconds of invulnerability. And that's a good strategy, even if you don't need to use it. Like now, I don't really need to use a bomb, but I use it anyway. Boom, get the red, free five seconds of invulnerability. That's a that's a, a, a strategy I use a lot in the game. Um, and another worthy note on this game is um, that little pod in front of you. That's vital for. But it basically moves in the opposite direction you are. That's vital to snud, uh, snuff, snuff, it's like a word, it? <laughs> to snuff um, enemy bullets. It's like I said on hard mode, a lot of the enemies, well most of the enemies, do suicide bullets like there. See, on normal, that's not there. Um, and that little green pod, which follows you round, it basically just absorbs any bullets. It'll absorb any bullet apart from like a big, a strong bullet, or like a laser, or like a, a boss attack. You can see here, it's invulnerable, invulnerable basically. Maybe let's listen to the music, it's great music, that's good. Yeah, and l like most uh, shoot 'em ups, your pods if you overlap it with things. It's got, especially on this game, it's got crazy power. Yeah, I'll leave. Where's my dad? So I haven't seen. I haven't watched this replay since I actually did. Yeah, on on this game as well. It's it's you need to know. It helps if you, if you um, especially on hard, is memorize where everything is. Because a lot of the time, you're gonna need to, to preempt a bomb. Or just just try and um, try and point blank things, but as they come on, to get rid of them before they come a threat. So you can see now that this boss is a bit of a nightmare. But see, I got three red bombs, so I use a bomb. I use my invulnerability, and if you look at my speed in the top left, it's going up and down. So every time you change speed, a little thrust comes out the back of your ship, and that basically is like an extra attack. So use a use a red weapon. You're invulnerable then for like five well, while your your bombs being used. And just get on top of the enemy, change your speed, keep changing. Um, yeah, and you'll see in the top left hand corner when you use a bomb, it changes to a little meter. And that basically tells you, you know, it takes any guesswork out of the way. It tells you when, when your people really runs out. I hope this is making sense. Yeah, as you can see, it's not too hard yet actually, but you just gotta make sure you use that um, use that green thing. To uh, snip, snip the bullets before they can cause trouble. 
But yeah, but basically most of the most of the um, most of the game I use this weapon. But there are a few things like that back there. So you know, I know when you know that's coming. Basically, one one bomb then you know took care of all that. Whereas if it didn't, if I didn't use a bomb by there, that part is a bit of a nightmare. Because before you kill the first one, the second one falls in, and the right one falls down. Whereas if you just got invincibility from the red, from the red weapon, you could just change the speed on top of them while you're invincible and just take them out quick. Oh uh, yeah, for most of the game, I use the uh, yeah the red weapon. But there are a few parts on there. It's just from like pure experimentation. Like the, the green weapon is beneficial. So there's a few parts, a few bosses in the game where there's a nice little safe spot. Like two, two or three bosses, a nice little safe spot, which are only you can only use um, green weapon for. Yeah, this is this the boss. Yeah, this boss is too bad actually. You can see, just stay there. But yeah, see those little those missiles coming out there. It's basically, when we're shooting maps, right? You got to identify which. Which bullets are static? I see those bullets, see those orange bullets come out there. They weren't they weren't actually aiming to me, were they? They were they're static no matter where you are, you can't influence where they go. Yeah, you can't influence where they're sorry, I'm just watching <laughs> I'm watching this. Yeah, so basically the, the, this this boss, it doesn't matter you could be in the same place every time and the, you haven't got a move to avoid anything. Because on some bosses, uh, this is making sense. <laughs> on some bosses, you've got to co constantly be moving because they're firing bullets and they're aimed at you. So basically, yeah, they, they look where you are, aim a bullet, it hits you where, wherever you happen to be. Whereas that boss, it was firing like di diagonal bullets, so you just go slightly off the diagonal, it can't hit you. Right, what level is this now? Level 3, yeah. Okay, yeah, this is where it starts getting a bit tricky by here now, actually. You need to memorise... Memorise the, uh, the level a bit more on this one. On this, on this level as well, yeah, from, from just experimenting, I find the um, the green weapon really useful on this stage. Even though I just got a... Even though I just... Uh, but yeah, it's weird that the, the, the um, weapon system works on this. If you look on the bottom there, I've used that laser. The next in well, next time I use a bomb, the next in line is the green weapon. So then I'll automatically be using the green weapon. You basically extinguish the previous the previous weapon uh, you were using before. But that makes no sense. See the, the red, the blue weapon is good for some some sections. Like by there, it was good timing. It was just enough time to be useful for something. Yeah, just watch, but just watch the replay a minute while I think of something to say. <laughs> so you can see that that this weapon here is, is quite good because there's lots of enemies coming from the sides and it's got a nice little spread on it. Whereas the blue weapon is a bit too long and thin. Whereas the, the green weapon, I guess you get good coverage, but it's not that strong, so you know. Yeah, what I was talking about earlier, right, about aimed and static weapons, uh, aimed and static bullets, by here now, two enemies, two um, tanks come from the side and they aim bullets at you. So, as soon as they, not tanks, all those little brown things on the side. So basically, just stay where you are, when you think they're going to fire, tap down, tap down, or tap, or tap up. Because they, they're basically aiming at you, so there's no safe spot. You just have, you're just going to have to move when they fire. Which is basically the opposite of that boss, the, uh, the boss on the previous level, where it didn't matter where you were, you know, you, you see. Yeah, this is the best strategy I've found by here, because if you go left and right, if you shoot that left one, the right one's going to get you. So I've been here. Whereas this is like doing it like this way, nice control. Just, just keep a you know peripheral vision on those side enemies. As soon as they fire, tap. As soon as they fire, tap. They fire twice, like two rounds basically. Yeah, I got rid of that weapon there because I want the uh, the other red weapon. 
No, actually, no, I didn't want that. So I didn't want the red weapon. I wanted a fully powered green. So that's why I used the bomb there for no reason. So now I've got fully powered green. Because this boss is a bit of a nightmare. But on the last attack, yeah, the last attack's the, the hardest one. This is not so bad. There's a second tank in a minute. Um, on the last attack, there's a safe spot. If you go in the bottom corners, because a fully powered green weapon has got such a wide spread on it, you can hit the boss while using your uh, little green fella. What's I call him? Your option. Use your option for, for blocking. It all makes sense in a minute, alright, honest. Whereas if I use the red weapon or the laser, it wouldn't, it wouldn't work. So basically, you've got to shoot that thing in the middle, and the, the laser would have missed it and the red weapon would have missed it, so I need a fully powered green weapon. Do you see there now? The bottom right hand corner, I'm not getting hit, because those those big attacks are missing me, those lasers are missing me, and those missiles are being snubbed by the option, and I'm still hitting the middle boss with the uh, with my weapon. But like I said, if it was the red weapon, that would be missing it, and the laser would just be bloody somewhere else. Yeah. So that's, the, that's why, I had because I had a fully powered red weapon, and this next weapon in line was the green, just use the red one, and then you'll get the green weapon. I realise that made no sense, but... Honestly, it does. <laughs> right, there we go. Oh, I dreaded doing commentary for this this game, it's just so long, 45 minutes. I've got to talk to myself 45 minutes about so many things. <laughs> Alright, then, right, next time. Yeah, th this level is quite uh, vital, you know where things are coming from. Because you've got enemies coming on from the left and the right, and they just fire straight away, like f um, aim bullets. For me, I think. Yeah, so you've got to know where they are to take them out quick. Otherwise, with the aim bullets, they can just, they can really, like those ones there, know where they are. Because if, if you're on the wrong side, one hits you, then you, yeah, it's a nightmare. Like I said, m for most of the level, you, 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 even though the red weapon is 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 stronger and the the bomb version of the weapon, you you last like a couple more seconds. Um, as a rule, I think that they're both equally as good for the actual, the actual level themselves. But the laser, I don't know, I just don't like the laser weapon. Yeah, some tight dodging. There. You see, it's too fast. I'm going there, and I saw the bullets there. This is just, it's just so unnecessary to have a, a high speed. I mean, this speed now, which is on low. Yeah, the speed's on low now, and look how fast it is. You're just out running every bullet, basically. So the high speed is just irrelevant, I think. It doesn't make much sense. They just they should have slowed made low a bit slower and fast. You know, yeah, fast not as fast because it's just it's just you don't need it. Except for the except for the last boss, I find it's quite useful for that. Yeah. Alright, here we go. It's got amazing music on this game. It's been on piece engine music because some games just sound terrible, don't they? Like early NES games. And you've got other games like this, which have got so many layers of you know, so many layers of instruments and the bass. It just doesn't sound like an, an old PC engine, does it? It's brilliant music. You should have should have let this guy do the music for all the games, though. Yeah, so for, for this, for the next section now, the invulnerability from the uh, from the secondary weapon. I call it secondary weapon from now on, not bomb. Too. I'm confusing things. Um, yeah, the secondary weapon, the invincibility you get, and you know the option of going on top of things and changing the speed to get extra extra uh, hits is quite vital. Like this boss is a bit of a nightmare. So there you go, see, see the top left hand corner, there's a, there's a meter going down, that's how long I got until the invincibility runs out basically. And see the speed going up and down, that's, I'm not tapping that, I'm just holding it, if you just hold the button, it toggles on and it toggles high and low. And on this game, yeah I forgot to say, you don't need auto fire because it's just, it's auto fire by default. I should have watched this before I uh, did this replay actually, because I would have more things to say, wouldn't I? So, 
this bad's a bit quite tricky. It's a really tricky bet by here. I think from memory. Where I use invincibility of a of a secondary of a, of the secondary uh, bomb. But you don't get quite enough time to take out all the enemies, but you, you don't want to use a second one because you need it for the boss. So it's a bit it's a bit uh, hazy. There you go. When you've got invincibility, just get in their face. Because I mean, you can see the, me the meter in the top left corner tells you when it's going to run out. So you may as well just get in there. Get in there. Point blank. This part, this part is quite tricky. Even though it doesn't look hard, they've got fast aim bullets. Like there. That's harsh. So you see, I've used a bomb there. It's run out. And there's still. So, oh, actually. Yeah. yeah. I forgot I said anything. There's just enough time. <laughs> Wait, what boss is this now? I can't remember. That's how I played this game, was when I did this replay, basically. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, look at that weapon there. It looks like really, uh, really dangerous, doesn't it? But all you got to do is just... Yeah, basically, it can't even reach you. Well, I can't understand. Well, it's easy to dodge, isn't it? Yeah, there's nothing to explain here really, just self-explanatory, isn't it? Just stick stay at the way of the um the fire and just clip it with the side of a fully powered up weapon. Oh god, did I take a hit there? No, I didn't. Yeah, this is quite harsh there, yeah, there you go. If you notice there, when it when it started changing to that weapon, I used luckily I had a red was it a red? No, a green a green weapon. I used it and got right on top of it, hold your speed. Oh, yeah, speed, toggle, hold it, and it was dead. And now I'm going into the level 5 with no weapons. <laughs> but basically, I, I may have lost a life, because you lose a life by, by getting hit when you've got no weapons. And if I got hit by a normal... If I got hit by, a, an, by one of those um, flames on that last boss, I would have lost the potential of using it as a secondary, you know, as a, as a secondary weapon. A secondary attack. I can't think of a word for that set, for that button one. Secondary attack, there you go, that's gonna be the, the new word for that. So you know, so I just cut you know, I just cut my losses and just used it just to get you know, the boss out of the way. But yeah, this level, I duh. Oh, from memory now, I took this is the probably the worst level I did on because I, I took I got hit like three times there. Really unfortunate at times. And on this stage as well, yeah, you know those robots there, you've got um, gold versions of those robots. And they come on and just fire fast aim bullets straight away. But they come on and they fire, they stagger their shots. I think one fires, one comes on, fires, and the other one fires. So it's hard to know what you're dodging and when they're firing. It's a bit of a nightmare. But yeah, that's why it's quite important to know when they're coming on. Like by here, you can use a high speed there to go get through all that, or you can just use a secondary, you know, secondary weapon of the red weapon. Get use invincibility and just. Basically, just uh, go through it. I hope this is making sense. That's another good thing with Soldier Bay, you can hit things from behind because the weapon you know, really spreads around your ship. Which makes it a bit easier, I suppose, but I mean. Yeah, any second there, you'll have those red, well not red, gold, big robots. Which are an absolute nightmare if you haven't got a weapon, or a, 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 secondary, a secondary weapon to use. <laughs> yeah, I, I paused it there because uh, my hands are just sweaty. <laughs> Now they see those gold, those gold, and those gold ones there. They they take a few more hits, and they got fast aimed bullets. Now when I say the aims, you know, no matter where you are, the, the bullets will hit you dead, dead on. Now, by there, that's harsh. I mean, you dodge, you dodge the right hand side one, and then the left one appears right on top of you. So it's it's pretty hard, it's pretty harsh that actually. 
and there's not much space to dodge either because they come down like pretty much like over half the screen down. So this battle looks harder than it is when you're dodging those because you, you get a, a preview of where that the laser's coming down before. It's gone though, so I don't know why I'm saying it. <laughs> yeah, I'll turn the same up a minute. Yeah, I take a few hits on this part now, but luckily I managed to get um, to give a few more power ups before the boss. Even though the boss on this stage isn't that hard, actually. There you go, it's a nice little safe spot there, just go just just slightly off centre. There they are. I always use a bomb on those uh, those red fellas. I mean, it's worth use it's worth using one of your weapons to take them out. The risk risk it taking a hit and then losing it anyway so you're going to lose it regardless unless you just get lucky and just dodge it but they're so they're so in your face with fast aim bullets it's not it's not worth it just just use it if you don't use it you lose it basically yes yeah, so i'm stuck with a worse weapon there in my opinion there's a weapon like this it's not so bad it's just when you use it with the as your secondary weapon, it's just not enough time. Oh, there you go, got it. Damn. It's just, it's just not. It doesn't give you enough time to. Um, well, it doesn't give you enough invincibility, basically. So it's not good if you've got like a big, uh, tricky section coming up and you need invincibility to use your your speed toggle. You know, you don't, you don't get enough time, basically. See, this part shouldn't be hard, but I think I'll take another hit in a minute. Luckily, they don't give you those uh, gold ones on this one. They just give you those easy, easy green ones. But I think it's a boss now. The boss is really quite easy on this stage. Okay, I didn't know that was it. <laughs> I totally forgot about that. Yeah, I, I could have taken that out without doing that, that bomb. To, to get the two reds, you know, leave the green. Even though the green's good. You see now, I'm not fully powered up, see, because I haven't got the diagonals. Because I didn't get enough reds in a row. But yeah, on this part, it looks hard, right? But if you look, those those small bullets, they're aimed. So what you want to do is, go to the right and slowly edge to the left to give yourself enough room to manoeuvre. To imagine, if I went in the middle, and they tap left, I'd run out of room and they'd still be firing. Whereas if I go fully to the right, um, luckily, you know, the, 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 the amount of time they're um, uh, fired, you just run out of space by the time you get to the other side. And you'll be stopped firing. And those long thin bullets, they're just uh, they're static ones. Yeah, they, just fly, they just fire randomly. Not static, you know, they're not, they're not aimed. But yeah, unless you do that strategy there, it's quite tricky. And those mines at the end, because because you're on the one side of the screen, they all spawn on one side, and you've got loads of room then to evade to the right. So you just got to think logically sometimes. You think you've got these aim bullets, you, know, you, need, you need a lot of space to move, so you may as well go to the, the furthest way, you know, furthest you can away from... I'll stop talking, I don't know so. <laughs> Basically, give yourself room to move. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I could talk for about 20 seconds, I'll just say, give yourself room to move. Okay, right, so the last but one level now. The last level is really short, so it's not really like a, a level as such, even though it is. Yeah, this is, this is the longest level in the game. This is where the, the most of the 45 minutes comes from. Try not to mess this record up now. Yeah, it's got good music on this level as well. Basically, it's use the same strategies that you've used for the entire game. Yeah, yeah the opening part's a bit chaotic. Oh, there you go, pause again. 
But the thing is, if you're going to get a hit, if you think you're going to get a hit like there, I thought it was a bit. It's going to be dangerous. So I thought, oh, I'll just use it. Because if you don't use it, you lose the weapon anyway. So may as well just use it anyway. That was that was risky. You know, now and again, looping around the edge of the screen does work, and then it pulled off. See, I, I, there was a green weapon then, but I knew there's a red one coming. Because ideally, I want like I want as many reds as I can get for the bosses, because I can just you know I get more time, more invincibility time to point blank, you know, and do the uh, speed toggle on top of the boss. Yeah, this boss is quite easy. I mean, just stay down the bottom. Those lasers basically don't do anything because you're not even anywhere near that part of the screen. But then you got those homing home in red weapons. Well this is a fluke this was I just I just randomly trying things out in the practice mode. And this is a good strategy, just try this. Sometimes this doesn't work and you've got to go clockwise instead. But yeah that was quite a lucky strategy to find out that was because that is a bit of a nightmare to um to dodge. Because basically you can just dodge down the bottom because he's gonna occupy your space you have to follow him round and try and dodge but if you just get in that little pattern Luckily, all the bullets miss you. It's just all noise. And I could have used... I had two red weapons, so I could have just used that and just point blanked it on top and did the speed toggle. But ideally, I want to keep, you know, as many... Uh, I need to be fully powered up, basically, for this stage. It's quite tricky. I don't know why I protested, I protested them on the joystick. I think I missed a red when I wanted to collect it. This is a good use there of the uh, the pod. So you can put on it, you can put blank things, just pull down. And my green thing will save you. There you go, there's those red ones again. Uh, gold ones. <laughs> I don't know why I call them red. <laughs> uh, this is the most boring boss in the game there. He's got, he just, you got two, you got lots of different, um, lots of different forms. His arms, and they're all quite easy actually. If you can imagine, that, yeah, that is actually the first boss, the first boss's attacks. If you cast your memory back, uh, 25 minutes ago. But yeah, the, the, that, the, yeah, you can see there. That's a static pan. It doesn't matter where you are. You don't influence. It looks hard, but it's not. Well, it doesn't look good. Yeah, those those missiles there, they always go in the same place. So you can get there before that little gap. You can get in there before they even fire, and they'll still miss you. We haven't got to wait until it fires to move it away. I think this is the last attack. This is the last attack. Now. This is the, the fire one, which we had the level before. Pause again. I think that's a sweaty hand situation again. Though. Look at those flames. They look really dangerous, don't they? They're not even. <laughs> they're not doing anything. <laughs> that's the thing. This game. I wish it was a little bit harder. Cause it, look, look at that. It looks hard, but there's not much threat, is there? I wish I wish some of these games were a little bit trickier to be honest with you. Be more of a challenge. Cause, I mean, look at the lives it's given me as well. Nine lives. But I, I don't deserve nine lives. I don't think that that bit's tricky there. That that's aimed at you. If you saw that, I forgot that was there. Then. That arm pulled the, the pipe off the side and threw it down. But yeah, yeah. It gives you too, it gives you too many lives. You don't deserve them. I don't think. It's like the next hour as well. When you get you, you complete the game, and you get like 15 lives, and I think you get like 10 lives just for killing the last boss from the bonus. And it's like why, why do I need 10 lives after after killing the boss? Yeah, this is this is really tricky now. This situation. This from now on, this is the hardest section of the game now. From now, all this section until the next, until the last level. So you've got lots of lots of different forms and lots of different uh, big enemies. But I found a neat little um, 
this is a, uh, yeah, this is another part where you need the what for the strategy I, I uh, did, I do, I use. You need the red, a fully powered up uh, green, fully powered up green uh, weapon. And there's a, there's a really nice little safe spot I found, which without it was a a real flipping nightmare. See this part, that's a nightmare. I, I, I was quite lucky that I had a red, I had a red in reserve there, then, because that part is a nightmare. A lot of these parts, it, the game would be a lot harder if you didn't have such long invincibility from the um, from your secondary weapon, secondary bomb. What did I, what did I decide again? Yeah, luckily, I got fully powered up. If you go on the corner there, see, I readjust myself. See that little, um, that little green. What did I decide to call him again? Option. Yeah, that was it. <laughs> Your option um, blocks all these bullets. That's just so fortunate that that works. Thing is, right? With I don't think I think the la I don't think the laser works on this boss. I don't think it clips him enough, or it takes too long. And the the red weapon doesn't work either. It just misses. But if you look at that there, see, that's all like random bullets. And to, to, to dodge that normally, like left and right, is a bit of a nightmare. Because you, you, you're moving too fast, like I said earlier, you move too fast. Whereas with this angle now, with that little um, option of 45 degrees, it just blocks, it just takes out all the all the threat. That was a nice, that was a nice little um, discovery, that was. I haven't seen anyone do that before. <coughs> Sorry, the hiccups. <laughs> Okay, get a green, just as it's half decent. Oh, in this boss here, see those? I forgot to mention it because I was um, choking on a on a hiccup then. Those um, orange little balls that's through, it sends you into like a, a little parallel, like a, a, a little bonus section then. Because if I dodged it, I would have gone there and got the pair ups. Because I collided with it, I got the pair up. Well, this is just another freak chance lucky discovery. If you just stay there, they basically they, this part is really tricky. This could be like make or break boss, to, you know, to lose in life. Um, if you just stay by there with the option at the bottom, basically you can't get it. But if I was to, if I was to tap one, see that? oh, it just it just extinguishes it. See that, that those blue those are green. Oh my god, I can't see colours there. Those green attacks just just skim you. Yeah, it's good that option because it look it's got a bigger a bigger hitbox than it looks. Yeah, yeah, you got, you got to be you can't go right on top of that thing because that thing will, will hurt you if you if you touch that thing then uh, bang in the center, you take a hit and you lose you know lose when you little um lose a power up. It's a hit basically, and if you go more to the left, those um the attack the green waves which come down and go back up again they will clip you so luckily by pure chance you can position yourself and uh hit the boss but you need to be semi powered up you know for it for it to uh have the bleed of the weapon to just clip the center see because that looks like the end of the game there doesn't it but it's not you've got one more level it's good this game for practice because it's good for practicing on real hardware because there's a good cheat Alert. where Alert. was it up select Alert. down select left select right select 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 and you can just practice any level which makes it good for uh, practice so I used to have this on the turbo turbo express and I discovered this tactic when I on normal back in uh, 93 I had this Ah, oh, look at that. That shouldn't have happened. See, I'm going left and right there, so the the, the uh, options absorbing the uh, the bullets. If I was fully powered up there now, that red weapon would be clipping clipping the boss because I've blocked. I got hit. There you go. Use your weapon. Use the secondary weapon. Get on top and just hold that um, speed up. It's really lucky that that's auto fire and it does damage. Otherwise. A lot these these bosses wouldn't die as as half as quick as they do, and if you didn't have invincibility, 
I'm not sure I mentioned that. But yeah. It's a huge strategy. That's one of the main strategies on hard is using your invincibility and just getting on top of the enemy and just holding, you know, the speed, the speed toggle, and you just like extinguish enemies so fast. As you as you've seen for the past 35 minutes. This is where I get a bit nervous now because the last boss could be. Well, he's not too bad actually. But yeah, he can. He can catch you out. There are a couple of tricky. Um... See, so I messed that up then. I memorized that. It was like left, right, left, right. But in my mind, I went right, left, right, left, and I dodged. I dodged into the enemy. See, by here now, I want to make sure I'm fully powered up and get as many red as I can. So that's that's a good. That's a good situation now. I got two reds, and I fully powered up, and I got a green in reserve, which is the next best one. Now by here now, if you look at the top left, I've, gone, I've got a uh, high speed, put it at high speed, because this, this last boss's first attack, he fires a really fast aimed, like a shotgun, a shotgun blast, but really fast, and it homes in, but with, with this speed now, you can just loop around it, you'll see it now, Oosh, there you go. It's really fast. Just loop around it fast like that. Yeah, that's the easy part. The next lot, the next lot of part, the next uh... there. Thing is, if I got hit by there, it'd be really unfortunate because I'd lose one of those red things, which means I got one less bomb to use. But I don't want to use it because I've I got to survive this attack with all of them to take out his next one, which is the hardest. But look now, he's got the same pattern here, top right, bottom left, bottom right, top left. And they're all static patterns, so you can just, you know, you can dodge those easy. So now, this is dangerous, so now, just use all your reserves, get on top of him, and use your toggle. Oh, there you go. I have one. I have one left. Ah, oh, there you go then. That's a uh, one life clear of a PC engine. It's totally great. <laughs> yeah, I need to do. I I gotta do more of these uh, um, audio commentaries. So just getting in the bloody mood to do them because I think I've done the first five minutes of this about bloody ten times, and I just can't think. <laughs> I just had to get. It's hard to get started. As soon as I get past the first five minutes. You know, it's not so bad if it's like a pause, I don't care. But it's the first, getting past the first five minutes, and, you know, getting in the, the flow of things. But, um, yeah, there you go. Um, yeah, it's really good that, that this is on the uh, that new Peace Engine Mini. So, I mean, this is, one of, this is probably one of the better, um, well, I think it's the best, uh, you know, Hudson, Hudson, the best soldier game. You know, Gunhead, Super Sass Soldier, Final Soldier, and Soldier Blade. I think it's the best. It's the best version, I'd say. Luckily, it's on there. So, anyway, guys, I'll stop this rambling. You can uh, listen to the credits music, and I'll catch you again soon. Yeah.